Hello YouTube and welcome. This is my first tutorial on DFK vids. So today I'm going to show you a very easy thing and it is how to make iPhone icons or iPhone style icons for usage on computers, applications, whatever. Now I'm using the GIMP or GNU image manipulation program to create this. I'm not using Photoshop for one simple reason. There simply is too many videos on how to do this using Photoshop around the internet. So, I'm using GIMP, which is by the way free. So, you want to go and create a new image. It's going to be either 57x57 or 60x60. Sorry. I'm going to take 57x57. Just okay. You get this sized. It's pretty good. Just going to zoom. Okay, now, what you want to do is you want to get the rounded edges, but first, transparency. Add alpha channel, and just erase the rest. Okay, now it's transparent. You want to go to the rectangle selection tool, and you want to go down here, check the two first right here, Ch change the first, um, Change the first radius to 3 and the second one to approximately 10. I'm just gonna take 10.3. So you get those settings. Now you just wanna go to the edge up here or the corner and drag it all the way down to the other corner. There we go. Now as it's selected, you want to colorize it or gradient it or with something. I'm just gonna take some red and black and do like this. Okay, around this uh, it's transparent as you can see. So, this is how our icon looks at the moment. It's pretty good. Normal standard size, everything. Now you could add that um, shiny thing to the top. Let's do that. Select the ellipse selection tool and just do something like this. In the selection you performed, you want to make a new layer first, sorry. New layer. And in the new layer, you want to colorize everything inside of your selection up here. White. Then you want to take the opacity over here and drag it down to 50. You got it at 50, you right click your layer and click add layer mask white full opacity and click add okay select nothing we have it uh, approximately you can adjust a little on the settings the different opacity settings and such this is just a uh, quick and easy so you actually have your icon and you can add anything you want uh, an image or something I'm just gonna type in some text dfk I want to colorize it white, uh, black, sorry. Black, and add it above the other layers. Now, um, let's just zoom out. DFK, it says, not too clear, maybe a bit bigger. You can just change it and mess up with it and do whatever you want, you know. Just gonna finish this one. Okay, now I'm just gonna make a border around the text so you can just get that with. Right click, alpha to selection, new layer, border, select, grow, grow by one white colorize drag and drop the layer below if you can apparently I can't it's because of the layer mask I'm just gonna remove it and then I think I can I uh, know anyways that's how you do and then you just swap around on these if I just can move it down there we go 
in there, man. Sorry. And we've got alert. DFK, our iPhone style icon. So you can just save it and use it for anything you want. I think this is gonna be our avatar or image or whatever in DFK bits. Anyways, I hope you like it. Um, and I hope to see more of you guys. Bye bye.